Apple has made some very welcome improvements to the mail application in iOS. Just to take a look at some of them, they've added some ways to uh, mark messages and delete messages easier. Uh, so first of all, in order to mark a message unread uh, or flag the message, you can now do that via a swipe on the message. So the uh, first option, this is actually customizable in settings. Uh, the first option is if you swipe the message towards the right, uh, you will be able to flag that message just by tapping on flag. If you swipe the message to the left, there's a, a third option. It used to just be trash and more, but now they have added mark as unread. So if the message is already or mark as read, uh, ba basically opposite of what the message uh, was already marked. Uh, so the message was read, so I just marked it unread and say I want to mark it unread again. There we go. Uh, now, as I said, this was customizable in settings. Uh, if you go over to the settings app, left triage action, uh, you can set that. So over on my iPad, I have it set opposite. If I swipe towards the right, I can mark as unread. And if I swipe to the left, oh, that actually uh, did something that I didn't want it to do. I was just about to get to that. But first of all, if I swipe to the left, you can flag. Uh, so that is customizable based on uh, what you like best. Now, what happened that uh, I wasn't planning on happening, but I was just about to talk about, was if you swipe all the way to the left, it's an automatic delete. So that means you can delete things real fast just by doing a full left swipe. This is actually a really nice thing that I'll be using a lot. It makes it really easy to delete messages. Just Band, they're gone. Now the next uh, thing that they changed I think is really great and that's the ability to minimize messages that you're composing. Uh, before if you were composing a message in mail and you wanted to go back to another message in your inbox or another folder uh, what you had to do was you had to hit the cancel button when you uh, went to your in your composition window you'd have to hit cancel and then you're asked if you wanted to save that message as a draft you hit yes went to your other message, wherever you were, and then you had to go back to your drafts folder and reopen the message. Now Apple's made it a heck of a lot easier. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate it first on my phone. Uh, if I'm composing a message, I can simply just drag the message down and it's minimized and I can now uh, browse all my other messages and that new message is down at the bottom minimized now I can minimize multiple messages at once I just have to drag it down and then in order to uh, browse through them I just tap on it and you get a carousel view similar to what uh, the tab browsing is in Safari a, t a carousel view of my uh, messages and my folder inbox uh, so I can tap which message I want to go back to to uh, resume editing on the iPad, I'll show you what it looks like. Basically, same thing. I already have some messages down here, so I'm just going to tap at the bottom to open up that carousel view, browse through my messages, and choose the one that I want to resume editing.